Hi everyone, this is Mauzilla. So tonight we're going to be talking about the most popular carnivore, Hynodon. Now, the Hynodon is a Hynodont Credont. It's a carnivore that, that is unlike any other meat eater. So the Hynodon lives between the late Eocene to the middle Miocene to 42 to 15.9 million years ago, meaning hynodons, modern carnivores, and even early hominids or humans never met. Speaking of it, hynodon is always rarely misidentified as a dog or a cat or hyena. And by rarely, I mean quite often. Let me explain why this is correct. Although hynodons, although hynodon as translate hyena tooth. The only similarity between hyena dawn and hyenas are, are the fact that they are both mammals and they both eat meat. Beyond this, they are completely different animals, with hyenas being related to more closely related to cats. And Hyenodon is actually being a Cretont, a long extinct group of mammals that did not survive the Miocene. So please, stop calling Hyenodon or dog or cat or hyena. It bugs me. And here's this that you can read it for yourself and pause it if you want to read it for yourself. And here's this if you want to pause it and read it for yourself again. And also, for those of you who don't know what Carnacio means, the hyena dawns lower molars create a shearing action even though if it even though it's reaches old age it can it can still eat meat because the teeth are self-sharpened no other martin animal or carnivore can ever do that but in modern carnivore but in modern carnivores they they can't do that Eventually, their teeth will wear down, and they'll starve to death. And here's a little fact. The hyenodon's jaw is, is a lot stronger. Let's say it grabs your arm, and the rear tooth will slice through it, like a samurai sword, and through the bone. Ugh. Just thinking about that makes me... Gives, gives me chills up my spine. Ew, cause I don't want, cause I don't want this critter by my arm. But luckily, they're extinct. So the hyenodon fossils are found in White River Formation. The White River Formation is t is have have lots of fossils of animals who died there, especially hyenodon's prey items. Those prey prey items are early camels with no humps and American hornless rhinos and small horses and the sheep-like animal the Oreo dot but the hyena dot didn't have didn't have it all to itself it had deadly enemies that includes Den Denictus a false saber-toothed cat, not related to the saber tooth itself. Plus, Dynectus is a relative of a Neophrenabidae. Ugh. Please don't correct me in the comments how do I pronounce this word of any carnivore. And the hyena dawn's natural enemy, Archaeotherium, or as simply people call it, the pig from hell, or hell pig, or terminator pig, whatever you want to call him. 
both compete for the same prey. And Paracorex. That also coexist coexisted with the Hyenodon, Dinictus, and Archaeotherium. And no, Paracorex is not a relative of terror birds. They're a lot different. And alligators. Yeah, there, there, are, there are other different species of alligator that also lived in the Oligocene to the Holocene, which Hyenodon lived in the White Tiber Formation. But the alligator was found in the White Tiber Formation, only fossils of it. Oh, and also, according to analysis of a tooth puncture marks on a fossil Dinictus skull found in North Dakota, the mystery of who or what animal killed the Dinictus, and the only one that answer is Hyenodon. So, so the Hyenodon snuck from behind, and of an element of surprise, it bit it right on its skull and eye sockets and crushing it to death and killed it. Well, guess I was unlucky for the non cat. And I also forgot Hyenodon is also located of North America to Asia, Europe and Africa. So there are species. The largest is Hyenodon gigas. And the largest North American species, Hyenodon hortus, and the smallest is Hyenodon microdon. Huh. Huh. <laughs> the cutest, dangerous animal is the smallest. Huh. <laughs> I will keep microdon as a pet. At least it's better with those. At least it's better with Hyenodon gigas or hortus. And. The extinction. How did such a great carnivore went extinct? Well, there are two theories. One, climate change. And two, competition with other modern carnivores or others. Let's start with climate change first. The world was selfish changing. Without too many millions ago, it was much more open habitat, brush or grasslands, much less scrubs and dense forests the, hy the hyena dog could have evolved in. With colder temperatures and lost shrubs and forests, the hyena dog could have that had ambushed to catch prey. But now in North, but North America became much drier with open fields and grasslands. Which means hyenas don't have more difficult time hunting prey. But the animals were, were evolving, have larger brains, and started to become more faster than hyenodon. But even but hyenodon's main source of food is the, are the oreodonts. Well, the oreodonts could not eat grass. If they start eating grass, their teeth will wear down. And they'll most likely starve to death. So the world around it was changing, and Hyenodon didn't have the mental capacity to adapt because the Hyenodon's small brain stopped growing because it was driven by instinct and let its killing power and jaws do the rest. Hyenodon, the smaller brain size, didn't have, have mental capability just as it. To change its behavior, that were outrunning it or recognizing it as a predator. It was bad enough. Hyenodon's habitat became much cooler, and it opened a and the brink, the land bridge of Beringia connected to Alaska to Russia, and Hyenodon's fate was outcompeted by. Bear dogs. So the bear dogs have driven these hyenodonts to extinction. 
Well, even well, the relatives of Hyena Daunts and the Cree Daunts were outcompeted by Martin of of early carnivores and bear dogs. With with carnivores with pack mentalities, which Hyena Daunt lack, could easily outnumber Hyena Daunt. The best thing a Hyena Daunt hoarders could do is scavenge what's left of the carcass, but it cannot. It, sustain its existence and with that they're all gone extinct and now with that hyena dawn has been featured a lot of times in pop culture in media one is walking with beasts the land of giants which feature hyena dawn but the show didn't specify which species but, but, but this one is Hyena Don Gigas, so I guess. And Hyena Don was also featured in Prehistoric Predator, a documentary, Razor Jaw, of Hyena Don Hordis. And Hyena Don was also featured in a TV series, Primeval, which it looks really inaccurate. Of a hy, because it looked too much like a hyena of its, of its stance. It should have been downwards, where hyena don's posture is. And the mane of the back, I do not know where that came from or what. If it's some type of theory, I don't. I am not. Gonna, I do not want to know. And it was also featured in a dark way novel. And a peak prequel to Silver Wing series. If anyone asks, no, I haven't read the novel yet. But the novel, well, I guess I could read it. And how you doing? It's also featured in Jurassic Park Builder, which you can play and have a battle with. And I know it's also featured of a recent of a recent game, Jurassic World the game. It's an app that you can play on. And it looks mostly accurate in that. And Hyena Dawn Hordis was added in art of a game, Ark Survival Evolved. And once again, just like the primeval, the hyena of a hyena like posture is really inaccurate. So the hyena dawn should be Posture be should be facing like this instead of a hunch of a hunch hyena posture. And I can't and I can't tell if it has like a hyena like laugh, which hyena dons don't even do that. And hyena don is also featured of the game Carnivores Far North, which you can see it's I can't tell if it's is is it Hynodon Hordis or Hynodon Gigas or Mongolianensis. Man, it's so confusing which species of Hynodon it is. And Hynodon is also a feature of a mobile phone game, Carnivores Ice Age. And yeah, and the model looks really okay. When I first played Carnivore's Ice Age, I keep getting, I keep getting sneak up behind by this critter. But every time I try to get him, and I know that the second one is right behind me, and I wait and I rage quit, <sighs> like I'm not even kidding. It's very difficult to hunt these things. And for some people that you don't, some people that you don't know, or some of you do know. If you're an anime or manga fan, Hyena Dawn is also featured in K Cage of Eden, which I did not know about. Know about this? I did not know. And and no, Cage of Eden does not have a single anime or animated show. It never has been, because I was disappointed. But. But it's good manga though, so yeah.
So yeah, here's the cage of Eden Hynodon, which I can tell it's, I don't know, Hynodon Gigas or Hordus or Mongoliensis. Man, this is confusing. So that's all we have. That's all we have for today, guys, folks. So if you got any questions, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, give you notified for new videos every day, and hit the like button. Until next time, I'm gonna start with the not well-known Cenozoic animals that never been featured in pop culture media or had no popularity. I'll start with the not well-known. Cenozoic animals. And second, I'll do the the well-known popular Cenozoic animals that already have an appearance in pop culture and media. But you never know. Because there are other Cenozoic animals that we don't know nothing about. Or have no popularity. Because dinosaurs have their popularity. But why don't, why don't we give these prehistoric animals a chance to be in popularity? Well, well, I guess they already been featured in Ice Age and Ice Age Meltdown, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, and etc. But you'll never know. So yeah, see it, see you guys, and good night.